Hi, I'm Andrea. It's Hi, Andrea. To meet you. Maureen, nice to meet you as well. Nice to meet you as well. I guess we should go ahead and start reading. By all means. Hi, I'm Rachel Clark. Nice to meet nice you, to meet Rachel. You. Do you want to reverse it? Do you want to read them to me? No. I'd rather <laughs> that actually, but okay. This individual says that, mm, that everybody's wonderful and there should be peace on earth. That's not what they said. <laughs> said that uh, homosexuality is a disease of the heart and the mind. Mm. No. <laughs> it's just a decision. I don't support the choice to be unnatural. Just be straight like the rest of us. Sadly not the first time I've heard that. First, being gay is cool. Now being transgender is the new thing. What is this world coming to? Yeah. To my unborn child, if you turn out gay, I will burn you alive. Harsh. Wow. No, it makes me... Yeah. I didn't think I would get emotional. I, I know, me too. I'm like getting <laughs> emotional just hearing this. I've got a lot of friends and family that are... Yeah, myself as well. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. Mm -hmm. To my unborn child, if you turn out gay, I will burn you alive. That one just gave me chills. It just... Fuck you, bitch. I fucking hate you, stupid tranny-looking cunt. Kill yourself, whore. I don't, I don't want to read any more of these things. This is like not good. They are. Do you need a whole month to show the world your AIDS spreading faggots? Look, nobody really gives a shit about you. So take your AIDS infected lifestyle and get lost. I really hope God has bad weather for your dumb fag parade. You make Toronto puke. It's hard to hear that. Yeah, it's hard to say it. Unfortunately, we live in a world where I hear this every day, so it's hard for me to react to it because it's just daily life for me. And online, it's just like a shield. And like, you wouldn't say that to their faces, hopefully. The fact that someone can sit behind their computer and, and write this out, you know, that's someone's son or someone's daughter or someone's mom or someone's dad that, that is writing that. It says to me that you don't think these, these comments would exist, that we wouldn't need gay pride anymore, but it clearly. It just shows like how much more work there really is and still needs to be done. And it's unfortunate because, it, you know, I think it's, it's a long road. All we can say is let's fight hate with love. Love is love. We're all humans. I feel like we need a hug at the end of this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get over here. <laughs>